Hey guys, what's up? So today with me I have the Canon PIXMA MX870 and I'll be doing a review on it. So let's get started. First, let's talk about some specs. This is an inkjet printer with, and also a photo printer. And as you see, this screen here is a 2.5 inch screen. And it just uses normal paper. And be warned, this printer is dang heavy. It is 26 pounds, so you do not want to lag this around. It also supports flashcard memory, and I'll explain that all later. And the max copying speed is 4.3 ppm. And the max document enlargement is 400%, and the max document reduction is 25%. And the maximum copies you could make is 99, which I do not know why you would need. And it has automatic duplexing, which I will show you. And it has a lot more features. It uses Chroma Plus, Chroma 100 Plus, and the max printing speed is 9.4 ppm mono and 6.1 ppm color. So great. Oh yes, it's called Canon Chroma Life 100 Plus. So this is compatible with Windows and Mac. And it can hold up to 35 sheets, and the max copy size is legal, so it's 8.5 inches by 14. And the standard media capacity is about 300 sheets. And the ADF tray, which is this right here, can hold up to 35 sheets. And I'll say more as I go along. Okay, so first, on the front here, we have a card reader. Let me just show that to you. I don't really think you can see it that well. But anyway, if you could, it, it does a lot of flash memory. It can do Memory Stick Duo, Memory Stick Pro, SDHC Memory Card, Multimedia Card, Compact Flash Memory Stick, Memory Stick Pro Duo, SD Memory Card, and IBM Micro Drive, which I have never heard of. So, yeah, it can do a lot. Sorry about that. Anyway, let's just go around here. Here's the power button. Let's see if I can bring this closer. Ah, this is such a heavy printer. I'm not willing to lag it around. Okay, here's the on button. Here are the speed dials. There's an alarm right there. This is the setup. Let's see if I can zoom in. This is the in use memory, the copy fax button. Then we have the scan card button, then we have the screen. We have a pinwheel, so it'll go like this to increase the copies. And we have three option buttons right there. We have the back button. We have a keypad for fax. We have a redial, pause, coded dial, hook, black, color, and these also both represent start, and the stop button right there. Now, what else do we have on this printer? We have built-in Wi-Fi. So once you install this on your printer, it'll ask, do you want to use this printer on a Wi-Fi network or by cable? I use Wi-Fi. See, there's the Wi-Fi symbol glowing up right now. And once it starts receiving signals, well, it's good. So wireless printing from anywhere in your house. On the, on the sides, we have nothing. And this opens up, and also this does too, this is a scanner, and if you open this you, you can see the ink cartridges, click here and open, now just wait a second for the ink cartridges to come up, there we go, they glow up red, so it's really cool, and this is also where you unjam the paper if it gets jammed. So just um, wait for that to close. It automatically closes. What happened? Okay, never mind. And up here we have an uh, auto document feeder right there. Nothing else except for. Let's see if I can go there. This will hold extra paper for you. Just bring that up. So, there you go. And if you want to know where the paper goes, you just, um, sorry. Let me open it because it's 
Ha, let me see. Okay. So you just open this right here. Yeah, I'm on the floor, so it doesn't open that well. So, as you see, this can be in well, as you see, this can be increased and stuff like that. This will can be decreased. So yeah. Now let me put it back because it's really heavy. Sorry about that. Anyway, I will do a test run right now. Let me just go to my computer and show you what I'm printing. So right here, I'm on my computer and I'll be printing the jellyfish picture. So let's print it. Print. As you see, there are no cables, so it's by Wi-Fi. Let's do a landscape, okay. So print it. Now it'll come out of the printer. This will open up. So let's just watch it. It says processing, please wait momentarily. And once it starts receiving the data, this Wi-Fi symbol will start blinking right about there. This is, it sometimes takes a while to process the data. I am not sure why. Let me check on the computer. Oh, okay. There we go. I got it. And as you see, this opened up. Also comes with this printer. You can get an iPhone app for it. I'm not sure about Android, but it says it comes with an iPhone app, so you can print directly from your iPhone or iPod. iPod. So you just download it from the App Store. It's available. So that's great. So just just wait. It's still processing for some reason. It's taking a little longer. Okay. Okay, it's now printing from PC. And as you see, the Wi Fi symbol is blinking. And let me tell you, the Wi Fi symbol is very. The Wi Fi setup is very simple. You just press it here, and then you just put the CD in your laptop or computer, and it's done. Pretty easy. So here comes the printer. It, it was so fast. <laughs> it was really fast, except for the processing time. And it's really good quality too. There you go. This is a pretty good copy. Hmm. So it's a really good quality picture. And now if you want to see a copy, well, I can do that. So yeah, I closed this. Sorry about that. Um, yeah. So what you do is you open this up. So let's see what. You want me to just copy this? I found this House of the Scorpion picture. I guess I'll copy this. Okay. So as you see, you have to put it at this end point right there. So let's just put that in. It's not like most printers where you don't have to. Yeah, it closes really loud. So let's just watch it automatically open. See that one it close. So start it. As you see, I did two copies by mistake. I don't think you can see it, but let's see. Let's see if I can zoom. See, it says O2, left O2. There you go, left O2. Oh, well. So, it's a really fast copy. But the funny thing is that when I was at the store, it took so long. It, like, took like 10 minutes just to copy the paper so let's just stop this right now I don't want to okay so it did halfway so just open this up let's get this let's see how legitimate the copy was let's see if you can fake a document 
I think you could. Yeah, I mean, yeah, maybe this is a little weirder around here. Oh, sorry. Maybe this is a little weirder around here, but I guess it's a pretty legit copy. I think I could fake a document, but I don't feel like it. I'd rather not. Now, what else do we have to copy? Well, we have nothing else. But I do want to show you some features that this can do. So let's zoom in a lot. Okay, so I'm ready right here. Okay, this will not require anything, so put this in. Canon Pix. Okay, there we go. Sorry, it got cut, but anyway, so back to here. So I'll just zoom in perfectly. Okay, so it's a standard copy right now. So what we want to do is go to the copy menu, so press right here. And as you see, there's a lot of options. So press the standard copy, two-sided copy. So you can copy two, uh, two scanned images and put them on two sides of the sheet. Okay, uh, I am making this really blurry. I don't know why either. So anyway, so um, let's see if I can do this. There you go should be good this is good yeah it says two sided copy okay so here it is next we have two on one copy so copy by reducing two pages to fit on a single page then we have the four on one so four pages into one then we have the borderless so that the image fits without borders now we have the image repeat copy copy image for the specified number of times on one sheet actually I've never tried that Co collotted copy which is copy in order of page uh, no oh sorry copy in order of page number when making more than one copy and then this is the fade restored so it restores fades and this is the frame erase and this is the sticker copy so you need sticker paper this is the binding margin, copy with a margin for hole punching or binding. This is the punch hole removal, so that only works by doing this, but I've done it. It's pretty cool, actually. And that's pretty much all. Now, on the scan, so let's move to scan. Let's move here. If you go to, um, let's see. Oh, sorry, not scan. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go to setup. Sorry. Go to setup. Yeah, press setup. Now we're here. Now go to. Not wireless LAN though. So easy to set up. Device settings. No. Template print. Press here. As you see, it says notebook paper one. Notebook paper. There's all this notebook paper. Graph paper. Checklist. Staff paper. Handwriting paper, weekly schedule, monthly schedule. So let's print a, since I haven't done one of these, a checklist. Let's see how this looks. So let's move this back. So let's get the checklist. Start. Well, actually, you don't press start. Sorry about that. You actually press select. And you press two-sided printing. Two-sided printing, one-sided. I like that. So start. Let it start. This may take a while. I'm not sure. I did the graph paper. It comes out really good. Anyway. Mm -hmm. So let us... This is actually really fast. Oh, you can also lift this up so the paper comes, like, right here. Swatch. Oh, great. So as you see, here is it. A bunch of checklists. Sorry about that. Now my phone's ringing. So, so guys, I'm back. Sorry about the phone ringing. Okay, creepy, but okay. Bad timing for me. Anyway... So now that we're basically done this review, 
there's nothing else to show you. So, thanks guys for watching. Please comment and please subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. Oh yes, and one note. Um, I will be out of the country for three months or so. I'm not sure it's for a while. So, I may or may not be able to do any more reviews. But thanks guys, and... Thanks guys, and please keep supporting me and I'll keep making these videos. Thanks guys, bye.